Everybody's got a blank page, a story they're writing today, a wall that they're climbing. You can carry the past on your shoulders. You can start over regrets. No matter what you've gone through, Jesus, He gave it all to save you. He carried the cross on His shoulders. So you can start over. What up everybody, it's your girl Shania. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty for Ashes. I'm excited about the topic today, so let's get to it. Okay, so the other day, I was listening to um, Hillsong. Um, I can't even think of what the song's called right now. I'll put it in the description box below. But it, it was a verse in there that like, it stuck with me. It said, he didn't want heaven without us, so he brought heaven down. And it just made me think about how much God loves us. Like God does not need us. He does not need us whatsoever, but he wants us. Like that, that feels better than anything. You know, who is perfect and matchless and undefeated, who is all things, who knows all, who created all things by just speaking. He wants you. Someone who is so imperfect, someone who is going to mess up again and again and again, yet he still wants you. You know, I mean, think about it. He knew the type of person you will be. He knew all the mistakes you would make before you were even thought of by your own parents. And before their parents was even even thought of them and yet he still sent his son down to die for you I don't think right now if you're living a type of way you shouldn't be living if you make some huge mistake and you think it's too late like God no it's no way he can use me now there's no way he even wants to talk to me that's a lie and that's a lie from the enemy okay he is he's a creator of all things he can do all things do you not think he can't fix you you know, think about it. It even says um, in the Bible uh, about him being the potter and we are the clay. That he forms us, right? It, you know, if you have a toy and it's broke, right? And you're like, dang it, I broke it. Let me try to fix it. Would you rather fix it someone who doesn't know how it was created, who could possibly break it more? Or would you rather go to the person who made the toy? Because you know that they know how the toy is supposed to function. They know they made it themselves. So which one would you rather do? Me, I'd rather go to the toy maker. Because they know exactly how this toy is supposed to run. They can fix it with no problem. Me, I almost like my bring it more. And that's what we do with our lives. You know, we try to fix it up ourselves. Because we think we can do it. And we just make our lives worse. We got more stuff that eventually we go to God like, God, I got a whole list that I need you. I need you to help me from this. I need you to fix this. I need all this stuff done now. Because we decided that either we knew more than God or that it was too late and God didn't want anything to do with us. And that's a lie. God did not want heaven without us. You know, he, he has all things and yet he didn't want heaven without you. So he brought heaven down, which was Jesus. You know, heaven hit the earth the moment that Mary was pregnant and... You know, and they didn't, people who bashed him, who spit on him, who killed him, didn't know that he was the key. You know, a person who would get rid of all the suffering, a person who would get, get them from underneath the law, they killed the key. And even though they killed the answer, the key to every answer, they were, every question they ever would have had, Jesus still went down and got the key of life and death from the enemy. And now we're no longer slaves to the law. The enemy can't touch us. Like, his love for us is unfathomable. Like, we can't completely understand it. But know that nothing can separate you from it. I posted this post on Facebook a while ago. And it got a lot of response from it. When I first read it, literally it was like a punch to the heart. Like, I was like, dog. Right? And it said... Would you marry your bride if you knew at the altar that she would cheat on you every day? Jesus did. And I was like, dang. Like, he knew. Like I said, he knew all the mistakes we would make. He knew that we would turn our backs to him. He knew that we would have idols. That we would worship other things over him. That we would barely talk to him at times. And yet he said, I still want, I still want them as my bride. 
Like, God, like Jesus knew that wasn't an even exchange. But he did not want heaven without us, y'all. Do y'all understand how much God loves us? He sent his only son to die for you because he wanted you to be his son and daughter too. Like, y'all, come on. We have to understand God's love way more than we do. We got to think about it differently than we do. Like, he's our father. We just got to stop thinking about him in this some faraway universe. No, he's right here right now. He's living, literally living inside of you. I really, I truly wonder if our brains could fathom God's love, would we live differently? Would we make better decisions? And I believe we would. I believe we would. We could truly understand who God was and his love. I believe we would because we have an example of someone who did. And that was Jesus. Jesus understood the Father. He knew him. He knew his love. And because of that, he never sinned. So I think, yeah, there's a work that needs to be done on our parts to truly understand God. Because we will make better life decisions. We would... Stop blaming God for everything bad that happens to us when most of the time, let's be real, it's our fault. It's because we don't truly understand God's love. We make all these bad decisions. We continue to sin. You know, if we could put ourselves in Jesus' shoes, even for a minute, you know, could you do what he did? And, and most likely the answer is no. So who are we not to glorify him every single day with our bodies, with our mouths, with our lives? You know, we need to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Human beings, unfortunately, we have to learn the hard way for us to finally get it right. We have to be beaten up by life, kicked, leaking blood, and finally at this point crawling back to God saying, God, I'm sorry, I cannot do this on my own on my own help me some people are too prideful and too full of themselves and no matter how many times they hear the gospel no matter how many times that they feel convicted or or anything they continue to fight they continue to stay in this world and live the lives they're living and then they it ends in death they never become the person that god has called them to be they never are able to experience heaven or earth because we can have heaven on earth you know and it's a scripture um, that talks about this, uh, Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and restore their land. You know, if we just humble ourselves and come to God, he will answer your prayers. Okay, he will speak to you. He will show himself in a way that you can never ever in your life deny him again. And then you will be that person who will be out there preaching the gospel. Who will be out there witnessing and telling your testimony to people who are just like you. So I truly, truly believe we need to understand God's love a lot more than we do. Because if we did, I believe we made better decisions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I will see you guys next time. Like and share this video. Peace.